renovation time. Welcome back. We're here. <laughs> so we have a ton of updates for you. A ton. Where do we start? Well, so the last, when we got here to Sholo, Arizona, we literally had a bed and all of our stuff spewed all over. Mm -hmm. Now bear with me, our stuff is spewed all over still. But it's we looking have- It's a little bit more organized though. Yeah, we have a ton of cool stuff that is done. So with that, let's show you the first project. All right, so the first project that we decided to start with was our closet. We have had our suitcase just in the way and everything was just kind of scrambled and thrown together. Dustin's clothes were mixed with my clothes, trying to find what you wanted and it would be spewed somewhere else. Like it was time to just get a little bit organized with our clothes and have our own little space so we could find our items and it just kind of helped get rid of the clutter. So first project was this beautiful bin section. Um, so we have these awesome bins that we have our clothes. So the two bottom ones are mine and dust or just mine. And then Dustin's are up top here. And that my friends is every single article of clothing that we own. If it doesn't fit in these bins, you don't get any more. Oh, there you guys are. You're back and you're in our humble abode. I'm just catching up some how to make shit happen. And let me tell you a little something about how to make shit happen. I, uh, decided one day to rip the rear of the bus out and decided to make shit happen. Um, our good friend Sean that I'm actually reading that book has taught us much on that uh, topic. And so I literally ripped it down to the ground and built it back up. So I started with some old fashioned corrugated tin I built the whole backside of everything so it's all structurally sound and supported. It used to say emergency exit and had all the other stuff that was all bus stuff and we just wanted something nicer. So out with the old, in with the new, that's actually old. Um, we actually tore a doghouse apart to get these uh, weathered wood and the uh, rusty tin to really help bring this into our home. So. As we see, both sides got the tin, and then back here, we actually have a bookshelf. We read a lot of, of books, especially right now, we're back on 75 hard. So we're reading up on all of our favorites, and uh, just wanted to show you guys a little bit about what we going on in the back of the bus. So the next project we decided to work on was the headboard. We had envisioned a place to store some items, stuff you want to put away and you don't want it just scattered laying around. So we had come across making this awesome headboard. And with it, the cool thing is that it is a cubby space so you can store whatever it is that you need inside. And also when I'm chilling in bed in the morning, trying to get some work done on my laptop, I like to drink my coffee. And this makes it perfect. So I can leave my coffee right there and grab it when I'm ready. So with 75 hard, we are re-dieting again. And this time for the first time ever, we're trying intermittent fasting. So 
Tanya has to keep a clock on me and make sure that I'm not digging in the cooler because I'm always hungry. But it'll it'll get better. It's actually, we actually really enjoy it so far. But I had to make a spot for our kitchen cooler to work and fit. So I made this box to hold our fridge in which we have. We have not installed it yet. Um, we're just currently using the cooler because we are not done with our power. So our fridge will actually sit right here. This box was made perfectly for it. And then underneath, I've got two solar batteries and our power inverter, in which is plenty circulated all throughout the garage, up underneath and all the way back. So we won't have any overheating problems or problems with electri electrical getting hot. And we will just be able to open this and check things out but the cool part is is we're going to put a countertop here so we have more food prep area beans that were very health and nutrition and fitness oriented so the countertop will actually lift up and we'll be able to get into our fridge and freezer well i don't know about you but i needed a place to sit and now we are in the living room <laughs> slash dining room yeah um so we had decided we we were a little indecisive on how we exactly wanted to do it but it, everything just kind of start started to fall into place and we came up with a solution of we wanted the couch so you could just like one of us could be laying in the bed reading a book or doing some work one of us could be here it doesn't like just giving a little bit more space for both of us yeah and with this, we have created this bench seat. And so we will have pillows that we will line along here to give our backing. All three cushions, Tanya and I did ourselves. We didn't want, we looked into buying cushions and things and it just wasn't what we were looking for. So actually there's three actual seats here. Um, each each cushion we did on our own and let's see what's inside so this one lifts up and it will actually hold all of our electrical it holds our solar charge controller our electric uh circuit breaker and we will have that's obviously right next to our batteries and our power inverter so everything for our electricity will all be in one spot and we'll be able to take care of any issues on the road next i'll slide over to the coolest spot of this which is where we will store our dining room table. We actually made the seat to sit down just a hair so that our dining room table will fit in here and we will be able to pull it out, set it up and have dinner. But also we will be able to have a third person join us and it might just be you. So the last part of this nifty feature of our couch, this seat. This seat right here is going to be mostly my seat because I don't drive the bus very much. I think I've only drove it once, to be honest. Um, but my seat belt will be right back in here. So I have a nice safe place to sit while we do all of our traveling. But the storage for this thing, I like shoes. Shoes is one thing that's hard to get rid of. So we built this awesome cubby space so of course as you can see i've already got four pairs of shoes in there and dustin gets the bottom area so we have a nice area to store all of our shoes and keep things a little bit tidier especially with the hiking that we do you know walking around outside in nature it's easy to get dirty filthy shoes and we really don't want to just stack them all here so we have a nice place to store them and let them be so they're out of the way and we're carefree so the next order of business is the bathroom number two everybody needs a place to go to the bathroom and a little bit of privacy so this happens to be our bathroom in which today Today we are going to fill it in, put up some walls, and provide a little bit more privacy, privacy. to do our little business. But that's where we're going to end it right here. You've got to follow us along and see how the bathroom turns out and see what we bring to you next.
Thanks guys. If you like this video, please hit that like button, share some love in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you love watching our beautiful faces. Mm -hmm. And if you would like to get notifications, hit that notification bell. Until then, we'll see you in the next one. Shitter's full, Clark. <laughs> <laughs>